because again, on this broadcast, we can talk about the things that most biblical pastors are afraid to get outside of that box, right? You know, we're going to talk outside the box, right? And that's what we're doing. The reason we're talking outside the box is because, again, most of the things that are in the box have been put in there for us to continue to believe in the narrative that they are teaching us. But from what we know, what we have been examining uh, we are seeing that things don't line up to, you know, they don't they don't line up together to the actual facts. Water doesn't curve. Um, ships don't disappear over the sea, over the edge of the horizon. Um, there are massive. Uh, archaeological digs in which we find huge femur bones of individuals that are as tall as your body, just the femur bone alone. There are footprints all around here, and especially there's one in Africa that's that footprint is actually probably around eight feet tall because a man could stand in it, a six foot man could stand in an eight foot tall footprint. And we're talking about, you know, these the, we, we have so much evidence that the civilization that lived before us had the ability to build these huge structures with no problem lifting huge megalithic pieces of granite that would have taken two or three cranes to actually lift, you know, some of the some of the pieces we still can't lift from the um, from the pyramids and, and all of that. And then on top of that, we have all of these old nostalgic buildings that are partially underneath the earth in what we call the mud flood. So we have all of this. And we then have the Bible telling us that there was a flood. The Bible telling us that there were giants on the earth. The Bible telling us that we are on water and that land was taken out of the water and that we are on what we call dry land. And he called the dry land earth. He did not call water earth. He called the water the seas. And he took the dry land out of the water. And he called the dry land earth. And that's the difference, significant difference in uh, what we've been discussing about the graven image that that has been portrayed or put before us. And remember, that's the reason I did my research on that book called Graven Image. That's the reason I put that book out, because the graven image book explains how the earth is not a globe and how the Greek philo philosophers, and who, again, they told us about the Greek philosophers, they may have even made the history up, uh, starting with uh, Pythagoras and Aristotle and Eratosthenes and all of these different names of these Greek philosophers came up with the shape of the earth as they say it is, the, you know, the, the round earth. And so they've been pushing this narrative that the earth is round. 